Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a kind of fashion video. So yeah, let's get started. So, um, I'm like a person, a lot of people like to do their, um, their makeup first, then, and then their hair. I like to do my hair first, then my makeup. I don't know why. I just think because I have like a ton of hair and uh, I just feel like since I'm always like taking my hair out and stuff like that because I don't like what I have in it. Like, since, I, since I'm like that and I'm always taking it out, I feel like I'm going to ruin the makeup look. So, I just, and I have gold on my hand. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like shiny. Because, not because, yeah. So, I think I'm just going to do a classic ponytail in my hair today. And I have to find a hair tie. There's like this, this hair tie right here, and I might use this one because it's technically fall halloween -y kind of thing. So I might use this one, as well, and then like cover it up. Um, yeah, there's not very much that you can do when you have like hair like this. There's not much you can do because of the way it like works out with the hair. Um, um where is my hair tie today? So, I can't really find any hair ties that I want to wear right now. So, I'm just going to keep looking. Um, I can't really find anything. I have, like this big yellow hair tie. So, I might use this one because I honestly, I don't care about if it matches um my I outfit. I just care if it holds my hair. I'm actually gonna film a video on Halloween. Because then I'm not gonna do the outfit and everything. Um. <laughs> but yeah. It's taking me forever. T. So. Ay, ay. Okay, yeah. I can't. Literally, I cannot do this. Why is this so hard? <laughs> So, instead of the ponytail, because the ponytail kind of gave up on us, it actually didn't. I did, because I couldn't get it high enough. And it didn't want to stay. So, I moved on. <laughs> so, we're just doing casual breakdown. I want to do this kind of story time while I'm doing my makeup, so good. It's about like a haunted house thing. So I'm just gonna get started right now. So it was actually on Friday, it's a Sunday. So, um, I had a fall festival at my school. I don't know if you guys have that, but I did. And I went with my friend, who's like my really good friend, not my friend Aileen, that has been quite a couple times in my video. But a friend Natalie, she has never really done my videos. Um, and so I went with her. And we went in the haunted house. We were really like the first ones there because as soon as we got in there, got our tickets and everything, we straight put our tickets there to the girl and we went in. And so, why can't I find a black hair tie? Okay. Back to the point. And we went in. We were so scared. And there was already people like screaming. This little girl, this first grader, she like, she got in. And she started crying because she was already scared because it was really dark in there. So me and my friend went inside and there was like nothing. We started walking. Oh, on the makeup, by the way. Started walking and everything like that, you know, casual us. Um, 
um, it was really dark, and the like, the walls were like banging. Of course, it's haunted house, and, and it was in the cafeteria. We have like a stage, and they were doing that, and then we were already scared. Like our heart, like we were like we were holding hands because we were really scared. And then um, there's like this clown and a doll, but they're like you know people like in, and. There, there's middle, it was middle schoolers because we have a middle school as well. And so, they were like scaring people. Look, I feel, it felt like the doll, like the middle school, they were both boys, but I felt like the dolls, the doll wasn't really paying attention and cause it didn't scare us. And then there was a clown. And so, and the clown scared us so bad. Like we, um, we ran. We didn't rent ran. We didn't run. But like we screamed and it was really frustrating. Then we just like we just got out. And then there is this fifth grader and we're actually fifth graders. There's this fifth grader and he was like standing on the wall. And there's this boy holding the light, you know, to make a scary effect. He didn't even say boo or anything. He just scared me. And then the fifth grader was like boo and we and like I'm like oh because you know it scared me. And then there's like the skeleton, but it's not the skeletons that move, it's just like for decoration there. And it scared, it didn't say poo or anything. I'm like, don't you dare. And then there's this other middle schooler. And um, she scared me, cause she was part of it. And then um, this, we went a second time cause we just thought it wasn't that scary, but we just wanted to go again. So we did, and then my friend Carissa was there. Um, and then, so, he, so he's like, we got up, and we, we ran to her, and then, um, her little brother, we were, like, making fun of him, because, dog, he was a first grader, so, he got mad at us, but, you know, it's fine. I'm gonna sing a song tomorrow on the bus, so, and, so, we, so, we got up, and, um, oh my god, look at my hands, they're, like, gold. I gotta wash my hair again today, I gotta get the brush of the gold out. And, um. We went in, the person who, like, was telling us to go in, um, told us that if we're gonna go with him, and he kept, or if they're gonna go with the people, because there's this girl, there's this first grader right in front of us with her, with her dad, and he was asking him, the first grader, if he was gonna go with them, or with us, and we said that he was gonna go with, uh, with us, because, I mean, he doesn't even know the people, but he knows us. So, but he just went, ended up going by himself, and he, or she screamed, it was really funny, and we went in for the second time, and the doll scared us, but the clown didn't, it was really weird, and, um, the doll kept, and like, we were gonna turn, but the doll was there, and we didn't know, and we were supposed, we thought that the clown was supposed to scare us at the time, and the light was on when, when the clown scared us. And it was really weird, so I kept like turning back, like, did we go the wrong way? I don't know. And then my friend Chris accidentally tripped me, and my sandal came off, and I was wearing sandals. And then I'm like, the dog in my head, I'm like, please don't scare me before I put my sandal on, please. And then so it didn't scare me. And then it kept like scaring us, boo, boo. And I'm like, just stop it, let me go through. And then he's like, to me, and I'm like, and then he let me go through. And then I finally went through the second time, and like, it was so scary, and my sister's friend, um, he was a boy, and there's two boys after my sister's friend. They're middle schoolers, and she's a middle schooler as well, and, um, they were, like, to the clown, they were, like, ooh, ooh, you're not gonna scare me, and then the clown chased them through the whole entire thing, and it was really funny. My sister told me that, and it was, like, I just thought it was really funny, and then I was gonna say that next year, when it happens again, like, haunted house that i'm gonna like try to slap the thing i'm gonna be like huh they're gonna be like how the boys did and then when she told me like she said she said um and then i'm like i was gonna say that i'm gonna like do like slap them but now that that happened to them i'm not like yeah i'm not going to do that and that's what really happened. And so I'm afraid for next year. In fifth grade when it happens. I'm afraid, but at the same time I'm not. You know, good point.
But yeah. So now that story time's over. Like. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, I'll tell you, Daddy. See. See. No more ninguna. No. What is that thing, Linda? What are you doing? Emily, I'm filming. Hey. I'm filming. See? Yes, look, I'm filming. Oh. Hi, can oh. we go to the mall today? Mm-hmm. Yay, we're going to the mall. And so, uh, yeah, so it happened. I like to buy hair again, guys. Just saying. So I'm putting like some the crease in for the eyes. That's why I do my makeup, not just like being me to other YouTubers. I, I don't know which tone I use now. There's like two of the same tones, and I'm like, which tone did I use? I'm very rough in my eyeshadows, so there is not a lot that if you ever come to my house and you're like, you're my friend, then just so in, there's not a lot that you're going to see in my eyeshadow palette. I don't have like a brush to like smooth things out, so what I'm going to use, I don't have a beauty blender. Oh my god, I have like this thing that I found in my pencil case the other day, and it might take a look something me. This thing that's super cool and I love it and I think it looks super cool but I'm gonna use like kind of this much and I'm gonna like and you can like kind of choose which like how much you want it to be so I just kind of use it to blend in not very much I'm gonna use a little more of it because I think wrong with my eyebrow but like right there it's really annoying I don't know what it is but I think <laughs> no, one time I put a sticker on my eyebrow accidentally took it off there's like a bunch of hairs on there so I think that's what it is but that's okay <laughs> so I'm doing my eyeshadow I don't know if I want to go with a full glam today and then like put some eyeshadow on I'm not sure I don't think I want to do it I'm gonna move on to lipstick and then I'm gonna go I don't want to mascara so for the lipstick I don't want to do too much I want to do an actual nude color so, I actually have this new color, but it's a little broken. Not really. It's not it's a lot broken. So. It's very fall. ¿Qué? Oh, no, porque yo no sé mucho. Oh. Uh, I know you can see me. Because I'm putting on my lipstick. So it might look like a mess because I'm literally holding it from the bottom because it's like there's lipstick smeared on the part that you hold because it, it was broken. But yeah, I'm not going to do eyeliner because I think that just looks really bad. I, I don't have an eyelash curler because I'm only nine. But I do have like this really good mascara. It's called Incense Princess Volume Mascara. It's really nice. There's a blue one of it. I just have a pink one. My mom actually got it for me. Because I've been really wanting a mascara for a long time. So I'm not going to be able to top right now. So Okay, so I got one done. On to the other. So I done I done the two. They don't look good. They actually do though. Okay, so I think my makeup is done overall. I won't say it looks really bad, but I really want some blush in, some highlight. I'm gonna do some highlight for sure. And with the highlights, I have some highlight slash contour in there. I'm not gonna do bronzer today. No, no, this is just a no-no. Where is my blush? I 
my I gave to my grandma. Fudge. Okay. Wow. So I'm gonna do some some highlights, of course. I'm gonna do my hair again for sure. So let's. So I'm gonna. This is my highlight powder. It's very weird. There's some some highlight things in there. My little cousin ripped that piece. Thanks a lot. I'm gonna take this this really dark one and mix it up with this light one. I'm gonna take the light and mix it up with the. So I'm gonna take. I'm gonna first take some light because I don't wanna get some dark in the light one. And then mix it up with some brown. And then I kind of have my shade right there. Now, I'm just going to put some contour right here in the middle of my eyebrows. Put some contour right here. Some contour right here. Now, I just use the same shade. Oh, I have to blend it in. I totally forgot about that. Where's my little handy dandy tool? That I like to use. Okay, I used it. Now I'm gonna use that same light shade, and I'm just just gonna increase, 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 increase. Now that I had that, I'm gonna use some for highlight. I want to get as not. As very little, but as not just very much as possible. Just want to have like the perfect shade of highlight slash contour. So the contour thing is not really working. I mean the highlight. So what? Because that's not working. I might just apply some more foundation over it. And the reason why is because I don't like the way it turned out. I have a very pale nose now. So I'm going to take more of my foundation. I use this one. I don't know why. I feel like this goes really good with it. I have a bright shade. I, I need some more. No kidding. It's not very pleasing. So I didn't really like how it turned out. It turned out really bad about the highlight so I'm not gonna like so I'm just gonna hold off on that and of overall I kind of finish my look so that's the the look okay so here's what it looks like <laughs> it looks really good in the mirror but it doesn't look really good in the camera but overall, I think I really liked it. I might use this for a school next time. <sighs> I'm gonna just put some mascara on for school. I didn't do my bottom lash because I don't. I can't do that. Um, it's not safe for me. Unless I was a beauty guru, aka an adult who knows what to do. So I'm just gonna take this braid out. Bye bye, Felicia. I might just do a ponytail because it's like ponytail is my go-to hairstyle because we're going to the mall today. <sighs> okay. So Kaylee, I know you are really bad at this, but just try not to. Please, please, please. Just really please don't just don't ruin my makeup because I took like 50 years on that for you to ruin it. So this is how I just put my hair in, put for casual to make my bed. You guys are gonna watch me do that. And we're gonna like, so I'm actually gonna go live right now while you guys just entertain me with my stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did,
Please give it a like if you like it. So, bye.